Hi there, this is going to be a quick video on Basslight OS on the GPD Win 4. Basically, um, how well is it working as well as um, setup instructions. So, in this case, right now, I currently have it suspended. So, let me type in my pin. And you can see here, um, I was actually in the middle of a game, Persona 3. And everything is working. So, you can see here, I have the regular Steam menu. I can pull up the, um, the right hand menu. There's TDP control. If you use Deki plugins, I use simple Deki TDP. But there's a few options available for TDP control. Um, but yeah, I'll just go over everything. Uh, so the controller is fully working. So here I can just go into the controllers and show you. So now that we're in the controller settings, you can see um, the L4 buttons, the back buttons working are working. So L4, I'm holding it right now. So true, false, true, false. Um, and of course, all the regular buttons are working. Unfortunately, we can't map the trackpad to the optical mouse. Um, Right now we're emulating a DualSense Edge controller to get those back buttons. Um, but we can't emulate the trackpad, unfortunately, because of how the, the limitations of how the hardware is implemented. Uh, the R4 back button, the back button here, does work, but I've actually mapped it to something else. So you can see here, if you saw the, the Home Plus X uh, light up, that's because it's, it's currently mapped to that. So that means that I could ac have access to the, the right-hand menu. So I've remapped it to that instead of R4. Uh, but besides that, you also get gyro. So if you look here, you can see the gyro is working. The gyro requires some extra workarounds, but it's pretty easy to set up. Um, and then for LED control, currently you cannot control the LEDs through Steam, but you could install a Deki plugin for it to do the same. So if you go into here, you see, for example, you change like the colors. Um, it's a little hard to see in this right now, but you can, you can it's, yeah, it's a little hard to see, but you can see that the colors are indeed changing. So. It does work. Anyways, um, with that, I'll just go over how to set all this up. So for anybody that wants to dual boot with Windows, there's a few guides on YouTube that you could use. Like you could use Cyber Dopamine's guide for to set up dual boot, or you could use the guide that I wrote for Legion Go, but it mostly still applies. Where basically you could use them to get the initial dual boot set up, but then afterwards you'll want to set up Deki plugins, etc., um, that are specific to the GPD Win 4 and other GPD devices. So. If you want to dual boot, you should look at those videos and get the initial boot set up, then afterwards you'll be on Bazite. So on Bazite, um, the resources you'll need, there is going to be this GitHub repo, GPD Win Tricks. And here you could look at all the Deki plugins you'll want to install, as well as the gyro fix you'll want to install for to get everything working. Assuming that you're on a fresh Bazite install, you're going to have a you're going to have the Bazite portal show up. Deki loader is the one thing you'll want to install because TDP control RGB control, all that stuff relies on having Deki Loader. So um, that's the one thing I'd recommend you install. Everything else here is optional. You can choose whatever you want. So take your time. Then you click install. And then it'll pass you, ask you for your password. And then you can look here to see the progress and it'll tell you when it's done. So I give it a moment. At the very bottom, it says installation complete. So Deki Loader is now installed. So after that, Click next, and here you could choose to install, I don't know, web browsers you want and anything else, and that's all up to you. I'm going to skip this because I don't need it, so install, and then next, and I'm all good. Next up, you'll, what you'll want to do is update your Bazite OS, so there's going to be the system update app. Just run it and let it update for it to pull down the latest changes, and while that's running in the background, we could start installing all these Deki plugins and other workarounds. So the one thing you're going to want here is HHD Deki. This one lets you... Um, change the controller emulation type. So right now, um, by default, HHD, which is already on Bazite, it ships with Bazite. It ships with your it ships with your controller being emulated as a DualSense, and you'll want the DualSense Edge emulation for the back buttons, the L4 and the R4. Um, so for for to install this, there's going to be a quick quick install. You just copy this. You want to open a new terminal by right clicking here, and click New Window. So in that new window, what you do is right click, paste. Hit enter, type in your password, and HHD Deki is now installed. Um, you're also going to want this GPD Win control for RGB control, as well as remapping, uh, remapping buttons, which will be really important. And then for TDP control, there are two options. There's this power control plugin, which is, um, I'd say it's pretty good. Um, I believe the installer right now is broken, so this installer, this install, install script here is broken, but I would recommend you to try out power control. It's a pretty good TDP control plugin. I personally use Simple Deki TDP because, well, I prefer how it works. Uh, but there's Simple Deki TDP, and then if you want fan control, you could use this fork that has the fan control. So we'll be uh, going with that in this video, but 
I would highly recommend you check out Power Control itself because it's a pretty good plugin. So HHD is installed. Uh, we're gonna want to install this wind control, so let's copy the copy the quick install instructions for this. So there's this copy. Right here, go here, right click, paste, enter. And then meanwhile, while that's going, uh, we're not gonna install this. Let's install simple like PDP. From that, there's gonna be a quick install. But there's a Bazite quick install. So if you're doing this on Bazite OS, use the Bazite installer. Since we already installed Deki, we're gonna to want to install simple Deki TDP instead. So let's just take this line, copy, and then if we go back here, we can see the previous install finished. Now we can paste this and enter. And simple Deki TDP has been installed. And finally, there's gonna be this power control fork for fan control. But like I said, um, I would highly recommend checking out the original power control. It's just not what I prefer to use. Anyways, um, those are now all uh, done installing. So those are all the plugins you'll need. And finally, we'll want to set up the uh, gyro because right now what happens with the gyro is that if you sleep the device, the gyro breaks. So this fix fixes that issue. So there's gonna be this install, install script here. So actually go to the GPD Win4 gyro fix. There's install instructions. So just copy this, and then in terminal, right click, paste, click enter, and that's it. Uh, we should wait for the, the update to finish. So once the update finishes, then we could reboot. So in the meanwhile, if you don't want your device to potentially go to sleep, if you click on the battery, there's going to be this manual block sleep. So we're just gonna manually block sleep so that it doesn't accidentally go to sleep while it's updating. It looks like it's frozen, but it's actually just really slow. So we just got to wait. So I'll be back in a little bit. So that update took a while, but now it's done. So I'm going to now reboot. So if I just reboot, we will be back in game mode. And then we could um, wrap up any other finishing touches for setup. Now that we're booted up, um, what we're going to first want to do is just configure some plugins. So you can press the menu plus A button. Let's bring up the right hand menu. And then there's going to be Decky. And here's going to be a bunch of plugins. These are all extra stuff I've already downloaded before. Um, for handheld daemon, um, there's a notice for a new overlay, which uh, we could turn off for now. Um, also, TDB controls won't be working um, in HHD, but we have separate plugins for that, so that's okay. So here in GPD controller, you're going to want to change the controller emulation to DualSense Edge so that you get the back buttons. But there's a chance that your back buttons aren't going to be working right now because you might have remapped it in Windows, and we'll need to remap it to some other value so that it could be used in Bazite. So here you could you know do things like turn on the gyro motion, etc. 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 all that. And also if you want to turn the R4 button into this right hand menu, right? So where I can press R4 and bring up the right hand menu, um, that's what this would be for. But you could change it to be L4 if you prefer, or turn it off if you'd rather get that button back. Um, but that's up to you. Um, there's that. Simple deck TDB. Um, this is the TDB plugin I prefer. And here, what we'll want to do is go down to the min TDP and the max TDP and change them. So 4, 30, or I don't know, change it to 35 if you want, um, whatever TDP range you're comfortable with on this device. And that will just set the limits for this slider. And then optionally, what you could do is there is this fix Steam hardware controls, which is an experimental option. If you enable this, then it will actually fix the Steam TDP slider here. So this TDP limit slider. Um, that's provided by Steam will be fixed if you enable that feature. But note that if you enable that, um, there's going to be this feature here um, where it enables AC power TDB profiles, where you could have a TDB profile when you're connected to power versus not. Uh, that feature does not work with the Steam hardware control fix. Uh, but yeah, besides that, um, that's it for TDB control. So for this GPD Win control plugin, um, you're going to want to remap the L4 and R4 so that they can work with um, with Bazite. So the L4 needs to be this, SysRQ. If it's not already that, you should click here and you should change it to that. And same with R4, R4 should be the pause button. And for pause, you could go in and look for it in the menu. Um, once the L4 and R4 are SysRQ and pause, and in HHD, you've set DualSense Edge, then your back buttons should start working in Steam. So if you go into the Steam controller settings here, controller, if you do the begin test, you'll see the L4 turns on. In the case of my R4, since I, I turned my R4 into the, 
the right hand menu button. So if I click it, it brings up the right hand menu button because in HHD here, I changed the R4 to the quick access menu. But that's how you get the back buttons working. If you want to change the RGB, there's these settings here for to change the RGB lights. So if you change it to, I don't know, let's say rainbow, rainbow it's a little hard to see, but, you could, uh, but the lights did change. Um, it's just hard to see in this lighting right now. Oh, uh, I like leaving mine off though, but you can change the lighting. And then for fan control, there's that power control fork that I'm using, which has uh, this neat fan graph. And we could just do, if you want to add a new fan curve, we could do is here, click a new fan profile, and then change it to either be fixed or to be a curve. And in the curve here, you could either use the buttons or you could click on the actual graph itself to create fan curve stuff. In this case, I'm not going to do that, but that's how you would get fan control. But yeah, that's really it. There's not really much else um, to the GPT Win 4. If you want to make sure that gyro is working, you can just go into the settings, controller settings. And if you check the advanced calibration, you can see the gyro is moving. Now, the, the key thing is that we need to make sure it's still working after you suspend. So let's just suspend the device real quick. Now we're resumed. Let's go back into the advanced and, and check, make sure the gyro is still moving. If the gyro is still moving, then the gyro fix worked correctly and you're good to go. But yeah, that's really it. Um, that's all you need for the GPD-1.4. Now it's basically a it's basically a mini Steam Deck. Anyways, that's it for me.